Happy Victory Monday, uh, Ravens Flock. And today we're going to talk about cover one. Uh, watching the game live, I saw what I thought was a lot of man, but I wasn't sure. Going back and looking at the All-22, we played a crap ton of man. Uh, man must have been part of the game plan that because, you know, their number one receiver was out. Well, even when we found out he was out, had to be part of the game plan before then. I guess they thought that our DBs were better than their receivers, which I think they are anyway. And we played a lot of man. But Mac Jones did a good job of finding the one mismatch they had. And it was Devontae Parker originally versus J. Loma Davis. Then it was Devontae Parker versus Brandon Stevens, even though Stevens made a couple plays. And we finally put Pepe in on the back end and changed some stuff up to kind of slow down Devontae Parker. But uh, this video is going to talk about a lot of the cover one plays and show the good, the bad, and the ugly of our cover one versus the New England Patriots. Roll the intro. All right, let's get started on these cover one looks. That's not bad. With the exception of, who is this? J. Norman Davis. So, Norman Davis started with the, they came out three receivers, Norman Davis started over Pepe. And I think they kind of picked on him, especially early. So right now, everybody's in good position. Here's your rover. Here's your deep guy. So we're, we're not cover one look. Well, not your rover. You're like your your whole player. Um, rover is the wrong term. You're, he's your whole player. He's he's a free guy. Kind of spying the, the uh, quarterback's eyes. And everybody's in fairly decent position. In phase, in phase, in phase, in phase. Parker got away from Oma Davis, and that's NFL open. Mac Hinson. A lot of y'all have to catch. I know at one point I looked up and I checked the stats on the live stream and, and Parker had five catches for like 150. All right, we got another cover one look here. It's, um, what is it, first and 10. Again, like I said in the, the last clip, I think they were working on Alma Davis. Alma Davis is here. And I don't think maybe the game plan specifically was to work on Alma Davis. But Mac just saw the matchups with him versus Devontae Parker once the game started and said, I'm going to take advantage of this. You know, pre-snap, you'd think one for one, and they would probably maybe banjo that, but basically you got one for one there. Um, they've got a tight end, which you got Chuck sitting over that tight end, or maybe one of these linebackers will cover that tight end, and you got a back also. So the tight end blocks, who I, that's who I think Chuck has. I think Queen has the running back because you see how he just kind of kind of moved over into that spot. So your Queen has the running back. The tight end blocks, so Chuck's now becomes like a, a free guy and kind of eye the quarterback. Good good uh, press by Marlowe and by Peters. Devontae was allowed a free release, and now he can do anything he want with Armand Davis. That's Armand Davis right here. He can do anything he want with him. He just runs across and right away from him. Then Alma Davis tries to, it's looking in the backfield. So look, his eyes are now locked in on the backfield. Instead of tracking, following Parker and staying on this track, his eyes are in the backfield and he starts that track. But Mac throws Parker on this track, which allows him to not be able to undercut it. Watch. So he's coming flat. Parker's still going this way. Alma Davis still going this way. And the ball's going to be thrown in this area somewhere. So he's looking down. When he finally decides to look back at the receiver, like, oh, snap. Look where he is. You man, your eyes got to Even if you get beat, your eyes got to stay there. Now on this play here, I I don't know if this is cover one or not, but I was thoroughly impressed on the way it unfolded. Because if you look now, it looks like it could be cover two or cover four, from the looks of it. On when the once the play starts, it's it's developing like cover three, and then when I get further along in the play, it ends up looking exactly like cover one. 
So the communication and the way they pass stuff off and the end result of this, it's, it's amazing to me. Again, starts off looking like a cover two shell or a cover four. All right, but now with, with him bailing out, with Marlon pressing the point man, it started to look like cover three. See, he pressed him off and then he's passing it off like it's looking like cover three. And you think, you know, maybe he got that flat. So as we progress a little more, now you start to see the man principles take hold. He's going to take him. He's taking him. He got that guy. He, he's taking him coming across. And then Peter's got him right there. Now, is it, maybe, is it some kind of match? But now, it looks like, now it looks completely like cover one. You got a man there, man there, man there, man there, man there. Deep safety, whole player. So, and, and it could be some kind of match principle that I don't know about, but I'm amazed at how it this ended up being a one high look, whether it be cover one or cover three. Uh, I'm amazed. <laughs> All right, this snap right here. It's now, you know, I'm gonna need a little help on this one. It ends up being a cover one look, but you got you're gonna end up with a a deep free safety, which is what you got there. It's gonna be man. It's gonna be man. It's gonna be man. But you're gonna have three underneath players. Now maybe like one got the tight end, one got the back, since they decide to block, they kind of hang out. So yeah, that's what it is. Now okay, I don't need help. That's what it is. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to assume he has the tight end, he has the back, or vice versa. And since they decided to block, they, they really didn't have any responsibility, to, so they just tried to hang out underneath. That's what it is, because he blocked, and he blocked. And then this is your, your middle of the field player right here, Chuck, then your deep player. So that, it is cover one. Once I start talking it out. Because see, thinking he must have a tight end, or he must have. They, they got them one of these two guys, but he's but Queen is coming, I guess, because he's blocking. Oh, Queen came, Oway dropped, Oway dropped out of there, which I hate seeing. So I'm trying to see. I'm trying to figure out who has the back. Chuck got the back because his eyes are on the back. Kyle has a tight end. Tight end blocked. Oway would have been a free guy. So he had the tight end. He had the back. Oway the free guy. Man, man, man. If my hell, man. Then your deep guy. Played a lot of cover one. I knew I wasn't crazy. Again, uh, get several good coverage on by Brandon. Good coverage by I think that's Juice Man. And I think this is more than that. That get, kind of gets get a little separation. But again, I, I played a ton of man. Played a ton of man. And now we get cover one on this one again. And again, we got. Steve is on Devontae Parker, which I don't know why we didn't have one of our better guys on Parker, especially with their number one guy being out. Uh, Parker should have been, in my eyes, should have been the next priority, even over Aguilar. So this is the route combos. You got a deep over going through here. You got this little shallow route, which is your man beater. You got uh, Parker running. Basically, it's, I don't really know what some people call it, but it, to me it's like a reverse corner. Instead of running the corner from the slot, you run from the outside. So you push in, push up, then push out. Man, that's kind of, drawn kind of funny. But you push in, push up, then push out. And what it is, he's going to get on top of um, Brandon, and Brandon's going to be underneath him. And it could be just, it could be just a regular old post corner. I just didn't see the post part of it. But that head and shoulder got Brandon. So now, if this is one-on-one, -on -one, Brandon's beat because all Mac has to do is drop it in that bucket right there. But look at look at the free safety. Watch the ground he covers because he's in the middle of the field right now and this ball is out. Mm. He was in the middle of the field when that ball was released 
got to below the numbers and broke it up. Got to below the numbers and broke it up. But the good part of what Brandon did, even though he got beat on the uh, when he stabbed up to the inside, he's in phase enough to where now Mac has to put air on it, which allows Marcus to get over the top and, and make a play. And we hadn't had a guy that can cover that much ground in a long time. In a long time. Even Earl wasn't covering this much ground, even though you know he was in the latter stages of his career. That's a hell of a play by uh, 32 right there. Hell of a play. That's what you want your free safety to do. Erase, erase all mistakes. All right. We got another cover one clip, which is a, a hell of a play by Marlon on this. Let's run it through. Hell of a play by Marlon. Let's talk about what went on. All right. So really, in my eyes, to me, they're doing this little motion to see if it's man. Bourne's going to come down and come back. And when he comes back and Mac eyes, okay, this is man. So you get that motion. Steven's going with him. Okay, I know it's man. I'm going to try to hit this little flat route. But because so many people are doing this type stuff on third and short, because it's third and one, two, it's third and three. So many people running these pick routes. Marlon does a great job of jamming this guy. But if you if you could if, if I had better quality video, you can see his eyes locked in on him while he's jamming that guy. Look, he's jamming the guy, and you can see the way his helmet is locked in right there. So as soon as he, he sees uh Mac release that ball, he gets rid of the receiver. He doesn't even worry about his guy anymore and comes to make that tackle. Which is an awesome play by Marlon. Awesome play by Marlon. This football IQ, this is watching tape, this is understanding situational football. It's a great job by Marlon to come off and make that. Because Brandon, like, he catches the ball now. Brandon's not in a position to – Brandon might stop him from getting the tackle, but the receiver will have leverage on him. Marlon took that away. Now it's 2v1. Two v, two v great play by Marlon right there. Great play. All right, now we've got another version of cover one, which I really like because where Marcus is, he's going to basically kind of sit right there and be the whole player. Chuck's going to bail out and be the deep guy, and everybody else is going to pick up their man. If I stop it right there, you see everybody's locked up. Everybody's locked up. I'm going to let the play go through so you can see the, the whole play. Again, going at Parker. Parker versus Stevens now. They took Oma Davis out, put Stevens in. Great play by Brandon. Great play by Brandon. But again, look at the cover. We played so much cover one. I don't know what. Maybe we thought that their receivers weren't good enough to beat our corners. And early on, they found they found their one better receiver. And um, but by by now, the tides are starting are starting to turn. Starting to turn a little bit. But you got locked up there. Locked up there. Uncle Bynes is taking him. When the back releases, Queen's going to take the back. And again, Marcus is going to kind of sit right there. Chuck is uh, released to be the deep guy. Uh, the Parker wins off the line of scrimmage. So let's focus down here. Parker wins off the line of scrimmage. Um, Brandon's playing outside leverage because his help is inside. That's his help. That's his help. So it behooves him to play outside leverage. You can see Peters up here playing outside leverage too. Marlo got to kind of play head up because he's in the slot. Bynes was automatically inside because he was in the box, so he's chasing the tight end. And Queen is now about to chase the running back going that way. But again, the same little route that they threw and Marcus knocked it down. But look at look look at Marcus' eyes, robbing that. You're not having you're not gonna have that deep over. He's trusting Brandon to be able to make that play. Because Chuck can't get there. Marcus might, if these roles were reversed between Marcus and Chuck, and Chuck was the robber. I'd be cool and Marcus maybe get over the top and help, but Chuck can't get over the top and help. They basically ran the same route, running away from the free safety, which I, you know, I understand. Brandon's beat, but did not give up on the play, which is imperative. Ball in his hands, knock it out. Knock it out. The play is not over till the whistle blows. And I got I got a message for whoever it is. You put your damn hand down. This is an incomplete ball. This is not a touchdown. Put your hand down. I 
Now this play here is some version of man. You just don't have the the deep guy back here because there's no need. You're trying to protect the, the goal line, which you know, you'll see all of them locked up with the exception of two people. All right, so now you see it developing. Queen took the back. He got that guy. Uh, he got that guy. The tight end's releasing. I think this is Chuck right here. He's going to release on the tight end. Where's the back? This is, is this the back right here coming across? Let's see. Yeah, somebody has the, who's that running with the back? Whoever this is. I don't know, I don't know who that is. Is that Marlon maybe? Yeah, Marlon's running with the tight end. Or a tight end. Chuck picked up that guy. Queen got the back. Locked up there, locked up there. So you're two free guys. Vine's playing a hole, and Marcus is kind of just playing a crosser, so to speak. So Mark, you know, helping out on that. Vine's in the middle, waiting on anything. Uh, fairly covered, covered, covered. Uh, if they throw it, he can break on it. Great coverage. Just, you know, didn't allow... Didn't have anybody to, to to take care of Mac. Great coverage though. Just didn't have somebody in you know in here to stop Mac from running. But he's not real. He's not a real threat running. But he ran on us. That's the. You know what? I was about to say that's the worst greet I've ever seen. But last week the greeting from the uh, whatever that was from the Dolphins tight end, that was the worst greet I ever seen. I think somebody called this the skedaddle. Like that boy playing uh, hopscotch. Get out of here. So, so while I'm watching this, there had to be something in the scouting report to alert these guys for pick plays and short yard situations. Because remember a few plays ago, Marlon came off and, and, and stopped the, the receiver for the for third down. This is a similar play. But basically, Queen plays it just like Marlon. And should have had a pick six. Watch. Queen is right here. He's pressing the, pressing the tight end. Eyes still on the quarterback. Not even looking at the tight end. Eyes waiting on him to throw it. Got outside leverage. Matt goes to throw it. He disengages. Prime for the pick six. Prime for the pick six. Now, even though he dropped it, shout out to the film study. And whoever put the game plan in to alert these guys for these different pick plays because that's two of them. You know, this one should have been a touchdown another way, and the other one was a big stop on third down. Get off the ground, Queen. It happens. All right, a, a decent disguise right here. Giving a giving a cover two look. Basically looking like you're in 4 3. Looking like you're in 4 3. Look like 4 3 cover two. Got your, your four down line, your three linebackers, your two back here. Look like a four three cover two. That's what it looks like. Uh, cover one. And he, here's the matchups that's going to happen before it happens. I'm going to draw it out, then let you see it. That's his guy. That's his guy. Um, Malik's going to have the back. He got him. Uh, the tight end down here, I think, is Queens. Bayern's going to sit in the middle. Chuck's going to rotate to the middle. See the movement already starting? There's the there's the roll. Man to man, he's gonna go through that. Man to man, he's got that. And not these not bad coverage by Queen. Just missed it. Just missed it. That's good timing by Mac and his tight end. Just, Queen just missed it. Getting the uh the pass breakup. Probably should have realized that well, he should have realized the situation and sat and played a little catch man right on the stick. Should have played a little catch man right at the sticks and sat right there. See that that took them two extra yards he gave up? If he'd have sat here, this play wouldn't have been an option. But the two extra yards he gave up allowed him to work and get the first down. But that can be corrected by film study. After going a while and playing a lot of zone uh, in the second half, we get this man look right here. And again, we we don't cover we don't um, 
think Mac is going to run and he's allowed to, you know, get out the pocket and get a first down. But just look at the coverage, though. Look at the coverage. Look at the man coverage versus, you know, these guys. And man had to be a big emphasis in the game plan because there's a, a crap ton of man plays in this game. Cover one at that. Obviously, you see your deep guy. That's, you know, deep is the deepest, reading quarterback guys. You got to find your hole player, which I think is Bynes, and everybody else got a, got a man. You got locked up there. Queen is on the back because he's going to flare out here. These two, he's that's his guy, and he going inside. I think uh, Marlon or whoever this is is going to go with it. So, still locked up, locked up, locked up. That's Marlon right there. I'm not sure who this is. Uh, that's Juice Man. This is probably Brandon Stevens or Pepe because they've by now we've went to Pepe. We started off with Alma Davis, went to Brandon Stevens, then later on in the game brought in Pepe. And you got Queen with that guy right there. So right now, this is the, the guy that's going to be open because he has to fight through all that traffic. I don't know who that is yet. Let's see. I still can't tell who that is. Third, oh, that's Chuck. That's Chuck. That's Chuck. So we got Queen, Juice Man. Chuck, Marlon, Bynes, Marcus. One, two, okay. And we got, okay, and we got three down linemen and two ends. Your ends is Malik and Owe. Okay, that's Chuck coming across, trying to fight through the traffic. And Chuck, don't do a bad job, because even if they throw that, he's in position to make the tackle. Everybody else is on their man. It's just, you know, you, you don't account for Mac getting out of there and getting yardage. Unless you put a spy on him. And you really don't you really don't think you need a spy for Matt Jones. You don't think. Alright, this is the last one I do for this film. You get another man look. Now, again, there's something in the game plan that alerted us to protect the flats. Because you got two guys out here on one. You got Marlin and you got I don't know who this is. But the back's gonna go in the flat, they're gonna cover. Marlon's going to press this guy. He's going to jam him up. And, you know, obviously, I think Kyle's going to take 85. And I don't know if he's going to take Nelson. And you got that guy sitting in the middle. Let's see. Now, Pepe blitzed. So now he's coming to take that. Kyle has Nelson. He's manned up. Uh, the back's going to come out. Chuck going to have the back. Marlon got this man one-on-one. -on -one. He's just going to press him all the way till Mac Jones basically throws him the ball. The pressure from Pepe made him throw the ball early. Didn't realize this live. But Pepe coming off the end screaming. Untouched. So he just threw it up. Get gifted from Alabama to Alabama. We'll take it. But again, that's man coverage. And, you know, man coverage was a huge part of, of the, the game plan. Because there are, like I said, a ton of man plays in, in this film. But we got better at it. We got better at it. They found the mismatch earlier. They were attacking. My phone's going crazy. They were attacking um, Jalen Norman Davis first. Then we changed to Stevens, and they started attacking him. Then we took Stevens out, put Pepe in, and played a little better. But we did play a lot more zone in the second half, which kind of, you know, we mixed it up more. We mixed it up more, gave them different looks. And there were some outstanding individual plays while in man. And for the most part, for the most part, those guys were covered. But they found a few mismatches and, and, and hit them. And we adjusted. Did a good job of adjusting. Even though we kept man in the game playing, uh, played better toward the end and ended up with that interception from Marlon. And that kind of, you know, put us on our way to, to victory. So, again, uh, I appreciate you guys for coming out. This is the first video of the week. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, be on the lookout for all the videos for the rest of the week. So, if you are here and you, are not, you have not hit that bell to be notified when they come out, please do so. Uh, all the links to support are down below. And uh, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. See you soon. Peace.